This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Good morning. We are now at Skandik Fauske, and today we're going to drive pretty far, uh, almost back home, but we have to sleep over one more night at uh, Elverum. It's all about timing because I have to pick up Dolly tomorrow morning. That's our dog. The weather over here is okay, but uh, I look at the weather forecast. There is going to be lots of rain and snow <laughs> and wet snow on the way there. So, yeah, just uh, yeah, the car I topped up now over there, but we're almost good to go. So, brace yourself, shitstorm is coming. We're now in Moirana topping up. I actually didn't need to stop here. I had over 40% battery, but I wanted to pee. So then we had to stop. But let's see, oh yeah. <laughs> the car is now in ninja mode. <laughs> but I want to check out something. So here is the, the thermal camera. This is FLIR 1. Um, the radar was blocked a couple of times during the drive. So I want to see if it's heated or not. You see, there's the radar. Let me see, through this one. Uh, where, where is it? Is it that one? I'm not sure. So I'm not that hungry yet, so that's why I went for a banana. Yes, so this is, by the way, the correct way to open a banana. Like this, like a monkey. Yeah. Always do it like the locals, just like BMW. Mm. But anyway, look what I found. They sell it at Deli De Luca. Dr. Pepper, let's see. Ah, let me just um, swallow the banana. So I don't give any weird taste. I want to taste this one. I haven't had a Dr. Pepper in many years. Oh, wait, wait, huh, huh. oh, that sound. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Like and comment if you also like Dr. Pepper. <laughs> hey, Numi. Hi there. Close the sunshade. No problem. Ah, oh, yeah, like a boss. You see, you can even change the Numi wake board to something else. Now it's set to, huh? United? Okay. Um, if you set it to like this, ask Say Asman to enable the voice feature. Hey, Asman. Nomi is here. What? Open the sunroof. Done. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna open that one. <laughs> hey, Asman. What can I do for you? What is the battery percentage? Your battery is at 59%, so we can go another 294 kilometers.
now in motion i've actually been here a long time now charging up and slacking slash eating napping you see we are here in motion and now we have to cross <laughs> the worst rain ever so uh, i want to see how thirsty is this car when we have to drive through lots of rain uh, well I, I don't know if you can trust this one but uh, at least it claimed to be six degrees celsius outside uh, that sounds possible Okay, we have 96%. It's uh, going to rain cats and dogs. Let's see if that affects the consumption more than cold weather. We are now in Stencha and finally we are in HPC land. Oh, slow charging for the wind, right? So here we are. Uh, I have to, okay, long, um, I have a good explanation about this. When I arrived here, this charger seems to be kaput and there was an e-golf here. So I parked like an idiot because I thought this was, was down. Uh, and then the, the MG came, but then it turns out that it was working but someone pushed the, the emergency stop and then they didn't they didn't uh, release it so so it is working I can show you here that the MG is charging and getting uh, well getting 40 kilowatt okay maybe the battery is not too hot but look at this one then uh -huh. oh yeah finally we get some proper charging speed here 125 kilowatts Unfortunately, we only get this for 10 minutes. It's timer-based. But uh, yes, so I wonder, what should I do now? Hmm. Well, maybe I should, <laughs> I should move the car, but I don't want to touch it because since it's timer-based, then it might, uh, <laughs> it might reset. So um, I have to figure out what to do now. Uh, I'm getting hungry. And actually, there's a, there's a China restaurant right over there. Hmm, because my other options from here would be just Circle K and Shell. Uh, actually, let me think. No, no, only uh, Circle K and Shell stations. So not much decent food. So maybe I'll try that one. My right, consumption numbers. Uh, it was 75 kilowatt hour right when we parked. So that means that we have spent 275 watt hour per kilometer. I want six degrees Celsius outside. So. Yes, wet road still uh, steals the most energy versus uh, cold weather. Well, let, me, let me switch off the lights here. There you go. Okay. All right. Ooh, we're still... Yeah, yeah, you see, it starts throttling now. We only get that Uber speed for 10 minutes. Now it's down to about 105 kilowatt, right? Ish. Okay, I wanted to be a good panda. So I ordered food at China House and uh, I also moved the car so that we actually, we have space for two more cars here. But also before I unplugged, I saw that I was getting 90, 91 kilowatt. And many people wonder, hey, does it help to unplug and plug it in again? And then you get 100 kilowatt, 120 kilowatt. No, unfortunately that's not how it works with this car. So you still get 91 kilowatt only. You cannot reset and get more, more speed like that. And it's actually timer based. So I've seen that if you, plug in too often it seems like it goes even slower uh, i don't know why it's like that but okay hopefully my food is ready soon oh yeah it was a good call to move the car uh not long after i came back into the restaurant i see a toyota high ace and an xc40 pull in yeah, so remember to A, B, C, always be considerate. But it is tight, you see the, the Volvo, well, huh? the Volvo is struggling a bit to back in. I try to park as tight as possible near the edge. The food is here. This is duck chop suey with rice. So no chop chop today, but at least chop suey. 
<laughs> I think I need a, a takeaway box. This is too much for me to eat right now. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. I haven't had Chinese food in a long time. Remember that I'm half Chinese, half Thai, half Norwegian, half German. Mmm. Mmm. Try the vegetables also. Perfect. Not overcooked. We're back in the car now. Oh, we're taking 70 kilowatt at 79%. This thing charges like a boss. I feel like Neo hasn't unlocked the potential yet in the charging. But okay. Anyway, I brought doggy bag. Well, maybe <laughs> it's kind of funny to go to a Chinese restaurant and ask for a doggy bag, right? <laughs> but I'm gonna show you so much space we have here. Okay, this car does not have um, a glove box, but uh in to in like to compensate for it it has this big ass storage here why is been putting lots of shit in here her purse and everything and snack and everything i could put it here but i could also put it on the space under the well hang on. Can, I, can i show you is that uh is that better yeah you see i have some uh camera equipment under here and then I'll, I can put the, <laughs> the food there. <laughs> We're now at Shell Klet. This is a branch banking new uh, gas station with lots of fast charger under the roof. Oh yeah, this is perfect for a Chevrolet Bolt EV <laughs> to charge. Wait, okay, okay. They don't have the fire extinguisher under this roof. Yeah. Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe you should uh, charge over there then with a Bolt, yeah. But look at all these chargers. So this is Chem Power. You guys know Chem Power. Here are the charger stacks. The, the, it's run by Recharge, the hardware is in Chem Power. And all of these can potentially deliver 150 kilowatts. We will even have Chadamo here. Wow, there, there are so many stalls here. Oh, okay, more, more charger stacks over there. There are just so many stalls here. There's uh, Klet, Miss Ninja, Klet Ionity. It's right over there, just a couple of hundred meters away. Uh, this is uh, also a very good location because it's right by the new highway and as you can see I can park under the roof while charging so I don't have to get wet and just like uh, gas pumps we have uh, uh, let me see do we have tissues here yeah yeah we have paper here we have uh, wait, what about cleaning okay well, over there at least, for cleaning the windscreen. So, and of course, you can also see here, this is a cool thing about Chem Power. Look at that, look at that. Designed by EV drivers. Sometimes you wonder, other charger, charging hardware, yeah, I'm not gonna name any brand, but have they ever tried to drive an EV before? Let me see, if I do this, you can also do this. Okay, go to Chem Power, yeah. So now you can bring the charger screen with you yeah <laughs> isn't that cool let me just go to the restroom oh. okay 16 minute charging stop and we are good to go uh, i think more than enough now 69 percent uh so next stop will be oh, oh, why is it so dark now she oh look look at all those fingerprints holy sh oh man fatty fingers for the win yeah this will trigger so many people's ocd but I don't know, I accidentally pressed uh, uh, a waypoint or something outside, oh, actually on, on the ocean there, but I, uh, there, is there no cross out continue? It's, it's, it's there. It, this is so annoying. It's, it triggers my OCD. Look here now. It's still there. No, 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 no. It's still there. No matter what we do, you cannot uh, cross it out. 
uh, N maybe. Okay, what do we stop navigation? No, come on. Okay, navigation and then okay. Is it gone now? It's still there. Well, how do I get rid of it? Okay, let me try to. Okay, let's go to Aludar. Okay, start navigation. Okay, now it's gone. Yes, gone. G O N. Okay, let's get out of here. We are now in Alvedal. This is the last high poverty. Oof, man, this uh, Ionity, well, actually, Tritium Chargers are pretty cool. They light up when you get close to them. <laughs> but yeah, this is the last high poverty charging session. Um, for some reason, these Tritium Chargers, this one or the other type that uh, Ionity uses, I have never ever been able to receive 120, 125 kilowatts from them. But uh, as you guys have seen before, I have received 125 kilowatts from the ABB charger, the hypercharger, Alpatronic, uh, and the Delta chargers. So, for some reason, I can only peak at 108 kilowatts on these tritium chargers, regardless. Uh, the battery should be nice and hot. So, I don't know, we came with 18%, by the way. <laughs> so, um, here you see, uh, yeah, pigs. Pigs drive EV. Well, actually, it could be the truckers, because trucks, they tend to park right nearby, but, but the main suspect are the EV drivers. So you can blame, uh, well, I'm not going to touch it, but it seems like uh, the, the trash can is full, but then that's kind of uh, circle case responsibility to clean up, because, I mean, people who come here, they probably charge and buy stuff from circle K. <laughs> Okay, but wow, you know, after being in the north for such a long time, where it's so uh, cold, then over here, it's so much different than the north. In the north, I had to, you guys see that I had to wear the thick jacket, but here in the south, tch, tch. okay, chill time. Okay, it's uh, 11.30 now, and it's time for some night food. Oh, yeah. This is uh, chop chop me, uh, uh, chop sui. Yeah, chop sui. Oh. Mmm, 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 mmm. Still tastes great. But I think it's time for Yulebrus. Oh, yeah. Guyur. Merry Christmas. Brule Yus. Oh. Let's see. What is this? Grands? I'm not sure where it's from. Uh, it's getting old. You know, you know how you measure how old you are? The further away you have to put this in order to read something, that's then your age in centimeters. Yeah, once you have to put your uh, phone on a selfie stick, just to read it, and you're getting old. She. Okay, let me see. I'll pop this open. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, this is not grounds. Ringnes. Kofaschken. No. It has a fruity taste. berry taste almost maybe taste like mix of cherry or no actually maybe not cherry some kind of berries dangle berries okay here's another bug or feature you see you want to play music nothing happens 
see here I'm gonna play it nothing happens you have to go here and then scroll down to this one for example and then wait yeah now it plays and now you can press here to start or stop it or you can press here just along with that um, this drive mode here once this one resets and then once and let me see if we go to driver assist yeah you, you see it's it's disabled once this one resets and the, <laughs> the drive mode resets then also you can't play it here you have to yeah whatever i think we have enough juice now yes okay let's go let me see what's the time now yeah oh it's almost wait, wait. yeah it's almost midnight so it should take two hours to go to Skandik. I'll sleep, be sleeping over in Skandik. I'll be there two at night. Oh, okay, let's hammer it. in Storalvdal and this stretch here is very flat flat like a pancake like Kansas and I'm gonna show you a behavior I've seen ever since I started driving uh, the Neo ES8 is that look okay let me focus here look at the power meter it will oscillate see it drops and then it increases and then drops and then it increases. It keeps going like that, especially if you drive a little bit faster. Okay, let's uh, set the, the yeah, I set it at 94. You see? And you can actually feel it. Okay, it's not that uh, easy to feel it, but uh, I can feel it. It depends how sensitive you are. <laughs> so, have you ever taken a taxi in uh, Asia before? Taxi drivers, or in general, Asian drivers, they drive like this. Accelerate, let off. <clears throat> Accelerate, let off. Uh, constantly. Once you felt it in Asia, you, will, you cannot unfeel it. So, uh, I hope they can fix this. Also, along with that, um, the auto steer jer jerks a little bit when it tur in, the, in the curves. So uh, it should be smoother like Tesla or actually most other Western cars. But also this, this, this behavior I show you here, I also seen it in X-Bank. <laughs> must be something about uh, Chinese cars. Hmm. They tend to behave uh, similar in many things. Like this one also, the rolling average. Same with X-Bank. I also heard that uh, BYD Tang has the same thing. It just shows you uh, rolling average consumption. It doesn't show you trip meter thingy. Um, you see that's uh, the yellow light there is the blind spot warning. It's been semi buggy tonight. It tends to light up and then it disappears again as if it detected some obstacle there. Wait, is it anything here? This is freaking scary. Uh, just like, just like the MG ZS EV uh, I have in Thailand. At night, it will suddenly claim that there's an an unbuckled passenger in the back. I'm like, shit, and then it disappears. Uh, what the heck is wrong? Hey, are you doing this? Huh? Know me? Hey, don't try to look innocent here. Jeez. Freaking me out now. Okay, it's enough now. Wait, right, stop it. Stop it. It's not fun anymore. Okay, turn it off. Turn it. Wait, wait, what if I? No. What? Shit. What's wrong with it?
finally in uh, Albrum. Ooh, it's uh, past two at night, but the consumption was only 214 watt hour kilometer. So of course we had downhill, but we had headwind and I was hammering it uh, yeah, from Alvdal to here in two hours. So this is, uh, I guess, um, what you can expect if you drive like a Norwegian. You can maybe an average around 200 watt hour per kilometer, even in winter-ish. Well, okay, except for that it's, what, is it really 9 degrees Celsius? No, no, I think it was more like 6 or 7 degrees. No, actually, it could be 9 degrees, yeah. Okay, but uh, we are now charging on Shuko. So yeah, this one, of course, it will go up once we shut off the car, but... Uh, all good, we have plenty of juice and we are in uh, HPC land, finally, wait, no, put the wrong, wrong button, wait, 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 uh, N, okay, yeah, so we're almost home, let's check in then. Man, I'm done, D-O-N, just gonna shower and get some sleep, so you see, normally I would just ninja back home, three at night-ish, but uh, this time I have to pick up Dolly and I can't pick up Dolly three at night on the way home. So that's why we're going to do it tomorrow. So then I also don't have to drive back and forth. So, uh, yes, well, good night then. Good morning. We are now at Skandig Elkstua in Elverum. And uh, this is the last day of the trip. It's kind of weird. Uh, but uh, yes, we are just uh, one... Well, actually two hours away from home, so I have to go and pick up Dolly now, our little dog, Chihuahua. And then we go home. So the car has been charging up here on, uh, well, this is just the Shuko, but it's good enough. So let's check it out. Oh man, the car is so dirty. I need to clean the car, vacuum it, and then return it to Neo. Man, I've been borrowing it for a long time. Ugh. Okay, we can't see any trip. This is also kind of annoying that we don't see any trip information now that we are charging. There is simply no button to... Uh, yeah, oh, no. <laughs> Unable to activate Neopilot. Oh, you don't say, we're plugged in. But okay, we have more than enough juice. I just did a quick rough, rough estimation. We can average around 400 watt hour per kilometer. So yes, let's go then. We're now at the friend's house where Dolly has been staying. And there she is. Yo, Dolly, Dolly, money, money. Son, son. <laughs> she speaks Thai. Did she see a door, bro? Dolly, can you come on? Can you come on? <laughs> okay, let's go home. back in Oslo so that was quite a trip yeah so yeah what did I think about the car by the way well it's super comfy very very quiet just like e-tron but also really spacious so there's only one other car that can match uh, ES8 well kind of match it which is the Model X 
all the other cars out there, uh, for example, uh, e -tron, Fat e-tron or Ionic 5 or ID4, Enyaq, they are smaller. You know, you have to realize how freaking big the ES8 is. So um, in that regard, yes, it's thirsty. That's what we have seen in the trip. But uh, I bet you if I draw the fat e-tron on this trip, it will even be thirstier according to the range test I did. So um, yeah, and of course in uh, no man's land, then it becomes a little bit painful when you want to travel far in one day. But like I've seen when I travel with wifey and we don't hammer it too hard, which is more normal case, people don't drive 1000 kilometer per day. Then it doesn't become a problem as long as you plan it long enough. Uh, I mean, plan it roughly. And then, of course, if you have high power chargers, then no problem, like we've seen in the last day now. That was so easy to travel and you didn't have to wait too long. So, yeah, and of course, if you consider buying the ES8 or if you haven't considered buying it, you should consider it versus, for example, Tesla. But then I haven't tested the last Model X yet. Uh, and then as for Fat e-tron, I feel like I like this car, the ES8, better than Fat e-tron because you have more space in here for putting stuff and the big screen is really user-friendly the way they organize things versus e-tron's uh, Audi system is a bit mess, big mess uh, and also this car is cheaper and it's faster and it is as quiet as Fat e-tron and the whole interior, you know, the build quality when you feel everything, the seat, the way everything has been designed, like adjustable headrest, like the sound of the door. Okay, I, I locked the car. The sound of the doors, everything here, just feel, you, you don't think that this is a Chinese car, you feel like it's a German car. And we drove all the way to Lungen North and Trumps and back again. Lots of uh, hammering and also rough asphalt. And I haven't heard any rattling, any squeaking, anything. The fit and finish is so superb. So, you know, I think it's time to kill the myth that Chinese cars are crap. They are not crap as long as you pay a, a premium price because, okay, this car is not cheap, but of course you can go for something cheap Chinese, then it's probably crap, but this one uh, is good shit. So if you order one and you're not sure whether you should go for it or not, I think based on what I've experienced now, there's a high chance that you will like it. The weakest point with the ES8 is how they put this. The software feels Chinese, like I pointed out many times. So they just have to make it, they have to un-Chinese it. Make it look and feel and have features more like the Western cars. Get rid of the bugs, get rid of the dings, start showing uh, charging speed uh, and so on. And I think it's going to be a big seller. So it's been, this is not a new brand. Neo has been selling in China for many years now. And this car also has been proven. So it's already uh, almost old tech. Yeah, that's also a thing. It's actually not that new uh, and leading edge tech compared to some of the other cars coming out today. So yeah, in Europe, it looks like it's a brand new model, but it's been out in China for many years. So, of course, just wait for the ET7 and all the other good shit coming from China, from NIO. And that would be also a big improvement, uh, especially in drivetrain, I heard. But yeah, overall though, it's a great car. Uh, what else is to say? I think you're, you guys already seen most of it. So uh, I think the last thing I'll do is give a big shout out to Neo for lending me the car. This is the same car I took on 1000 km challenge and the range test. And Neo, uh, when I asked them, hey, can I drive to Tromsø with this? Uh, I, I think they don't know uh, Lunen North. They said, of course. And I was like, oh, I might need the winter tires. And then they came, some, a guy came over. To, to my home and then we swapped cars because I also requested a six-seater for the banana box test and they put on the winter tires superb service and of course okay when the car broke down they flew two of the best, best men over to Tromsø to fix the car but that's the way they roll so it's not only because of, I'm a youtuber they will also do this if it was another regular customer we think that's what they claim yeah so I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.